warm wishes to one and all today we are entering into the second session of divisibility rules okay in this session we can discuss 11 to 20 divisibility rules okay here 11 divisibility rule what is 11 divisibility rule means here they are given one of the number what is they are given means 918082 in generally okay 11 divisibility rule means they will say some take the sum of alternative digits and after you can do the subtraction then the resultant is divisible by 11 or not you can check same same thing we can do in a different manner how we can do in a different manner means just here one the okay you can take the okay different and difference and a sum from the left to right okay you can take the difference and sum from the left to right okay first we are taking the difference and next we are taking sum from left to right left to right so that means 9 minus 1 8 8 next plus 8 then what you are getting 16 next we can do subtraction minus 0 then we are getting 16 next plus 8 then we are getting 24 next we can do subtraction minus 2 then at last what we are getting means 22 22 is divisible by 11 or not we need to check then it is divisible whenever it is divisible then this entire number is divisible by 11 okay we can go with another order, another way also what is that means just here one the what is there given 918082 okay you can come from right to left also we can come from right to left but not this one okay just here one the you can take the last digit you can take the last digit and subtract from the remaining digit that means 918082 that what you are getting 91806 okay again you can take the last digit again you can take the last digit subtract from the remainder that means 9180 minus 6 that means what you are getting 9174 9174 again you can take the last digit subtract from the remaining digit that means 917 minus 4 then what you are getting 913 okay again you can take the last digit subtract from the Remind that means what you are getting 91 minus 3. 91 minus 91 minus 3 means 88. 88 is divisible by 11 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 11. Then this entire number is divisible by 11. Okay, this is another way. Just here, once of the we told two ways of divisibility rule for 11. Okay, now we are entering into the 12. 12. Okay, divisibility rule for 12. This is easy. Okay, 12 can be written as a product of 2. Okay. Uh, co prime numbers what is that means uh, here once of the 12 can be written as 3 into 4 i already told like a 6 uh, okay that means uh, how we can divide a uh, 6 uh, okay how we can check a div divisibility rule for 6 means it is a uh, divisible by 2 or 3 we are checking now uh, in the same way here 12 when we have to check it is a uh, divisible by 12 or not means uh, is it divisible by 3 and uh, 4 or not we need to check how we can divisible by 3 and 4 we know already it is there in session one okay you can check in three divisibility rule and four divisibility rule in session one okay the given number is divisible by three and four then the entire number is divisible by 12 okay next now we, we are enter into the 13 divisibility rule okay now we are enter into the 13 divisibility rule what is 13 divisibility rule means now i will take a one other number that means a double one six eight seven okay before going to this one i'll do some smallest number okay that is a, a 637 there 637 they are given. Okay. okay, take the units place here. Take the units place here. 7 fours are 28. 28 is added to the before digit like a 7 uh, divisibility rule. Just uh, here once of the, there we are doing the subtraction. Here we are adding. That means uh, 7, uh, 63 plus uh, 28. 63 plus 28 is uh, okay, 11. Okay, here it is 91. 91 is divisible by 13 or not. Yes, it is divisible by 13. Okay, again we can check. Uh, okay, take the uh, units place into... Okay, 4, then we are getting 4. 4 is added to the before digit. Before digit is 9. Okay, 4 we can add. 13 we can get. 13 is divisible by 13 or 9? Yes, it is divisible. Then the entire number is divisible by 13. In the same way, now we can observe double 1, 6, 8, 7. In the same, same way, what we can do? Take the units place. 7, 4 is 28. 28 is added to the before digit. Double 1, 6, 8, 28. Okay, 16. Okay, 9, double 1. That means, uh, double 1, 9, 6. Uh, again, take the units place. 6, 4 is 24. 24 is added to the before digit. That means, uh, the double 1, 9 plus uh, 24. That is 13, 143. 143. Again, take the units place. 3 into 4. 
12. 12 is added to the before digit. That means uh, 14 plus 12, 26. Uh, 26 is divisible by 13. Then this entire number is divisible by 13. Okay. Now we are entering the 14 divisible T rule. 14 and 15, those are all too easy. Why? Because uh, 14 and 15 divisible T rules. Okay, 14 and 15 divisible T rules. So 14 can be written as a product of two co prime number. Co prime numbers, what are those means? Uh, 2 into 7. Okay, here 15 can be written as a product of two co prime number. 3 into 5. Okay, that is nothing but if you want to check it is divisible by 14 or not, means is it divisible by 2 and 7 or not, we need to check. How we can divide divisible by 2 and 7? Okay, we know we are explaining first session. In the same way, here 15. Is it divisible by 15 or not? Means is it the is it divisible by 3 or 5? We can check. 3 and 5, sorry. 3 and 5 we can check. Okay, if both it is divisible, then it is divisible by 15. In the same way, here 2 and 7 it is divisible. The given number is divisible by 2 and 7. Then the entire number is divisible by 14. Okay, you can check with the clearly easiest manner means sir. Okay, whenever it is divisible by 2, okay, it must be an even number. Okay, if it is even number, then only it is divisible by 14. Okay, now we can check is it divisible by 7 or 9. That is enough. Okay, in the same way here, once again observe, it is divisible by 5. 15 it is divisible means it must be divisible by 5. When it is divisible by 5, last digit either 0 or 5 it is there. Okay, you can check either 0 or 5 it is there, then it is divisible by 15. That means, okay, the given number containing last digit 0 or 5, we need to check first. Okay, is it there means, then you can check with the 3 divisible T rule. That is enough. Okay, now, once again, if you want to, okay, is it divisible by 4 or not means, first we need to check the given number is even or odd. Okay. If it is odd, clearly we can say it is not divisible. If it is even, now we can check 7 divisible T rule is enough. Okay. 15 divisible T rule. 15 divisible T rule means, okay, whenever the given number containing units place, units place, units place is 0 or 5, it is there or not, we need to observe. Okay. If it is there 0 or 5, then you can check only 3 divisible T rule enough. Okay, if other than 0 and 5, any number is there means it is not usable by 15. Okay, okay. Now we are entering into the 16 usable T rule. Okay, here I wrote two examples 2541766934408. Okay, now we need to observe the thousands place. What is here thousands place means? Sir? Okay, now we can observe here the thousand place is even. Okay, here the thousand place is odd. Okay, whenever the thousands place is even. Okay, you can do like this. Okay, whenever the thousand place is even, you can take the next three digits. Next three digits, what are there? 176. Okay, take the hundreds place. What is hundred place here? One is the hundred place. Multiply by four. Multiply by four. Then what we are getting? Four. Four. What we are getting the answer is added to the remaining digits. What we are getting the answer is added to the remaining digits. Then what we are getting? 80. 80 is divisible by 16 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 16. Then the entire number is divisible by 16. When we can take this logic, thousands place is even. Okay, when the thousands place is even, you can take this logic. Okay, now we can observe here, thousands place is odd. Now, again, we can take the four digits. Okay, just add plus 8. Add plus 8. Then what you are getting? 4, 16. 4, 16. 16. Now we can take a hundreds place. Hundred place is 4. Multiply by 4. Then what we are getting? Okay, sorry. 4 for the 16. 16 is added to the remaining digits. 16 is added to the remaining digits here. 16 plus 16 is 32. Okay, 32 is divisible by 16 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 13. This entire number is divisible by. Now we are entering into the 17 divisibility rule. What is 17 divisibility rule? Check here once of the it is looking like a Okay, 7 and 13 only. Just here we have to take the units place. What is units place? Here 1. Okay, 1 is multiplied by 5. 1 is multiplied by 5. 5, 1, 5 is a 5. 5 is subtracted from the remaining digits. 5 is subtracted from the remaining digits. That means uh, 22 minus 5. 22 minus 5 is 17. 17 is divisible by 17 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 17. Then the entire number is divisible by 17. In the same way, just here once of the, we can have the one more example. Take the units place. What is units place? Means 2. 2 is multiplied by 5. Then we are getting 10. 10 is subtracted from the remaining digits. So that means uh, 435 minus uh, 10. That means what you are getting? 
Okay, 425. Again, we can subtract. Uh, okay, that means uh, take the unit's place. Uh, okay, take the unit's place 5 into 5. Okay, we are getting 25. 25 is subtracted from the remaining digit. That means uh, 42 minus 25. 42 minus 25 is, uh, okay, 17. 17 is divisible by 17 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 17. Then the entire number is divisible by 17. Okay, okay. now we are entering into the 18 divisible rule. What is 18 divisible rule? Okay. Here, what is 18 divisibility rule means 18 can be written as a product of 2 co-prime number that is nothing but 2 into 9. Okay, that means uh, that number must be divisible by 2 and it must be divisible by 9. Okay, whenever it is divisible by 2, we told already that must be a even number. That means uh, the given number is even or not, we need to observe. Whenever it is even, we can check it is divisible by 9 or not. Is it divisible by 9? Then the entire number is divisible by 18. Okay. Just here it is easy. First we need to check the given number is even or not. Okay, if it is odd, no need to check. It is not usable by 18. Okay, if it is even, you can check it is usable by 9 or not. Is it usable by 9? Then the entire number is usable by 18. Now we are entering into the 19 usability rule. Okay, it is looking like a 7 usability rule only. How we can do means just here once of the we can take the units place uh, and multiply by 2. And what we are getting uh, 14. 14 is added to the before digit. 14 is added. Uh, okay, 7 usability rule means uh, okay, what we are getting the resultant is subtracted. Here added. That means uh, 43 plus 14. What we are getting? 7, 57. 57 is divisible by 19 or not? Yes, it is divisible by 19. Then the entire number is divisible by 19. Okay. Just here one of the, in the same way you can observe the next one more example. Just here one of the, what is unit place? 4. 4 into 2, how much? 8. 8 is added to the before digit. That means 448 plus 8. That means 16, 5, 4. Okay, that means 456. Again, you can take the units place. 6. 6 into 2, how much? 12. 12 is added to the before digit. 12 is added to the before digit means what you are getting? 4, 5. 1, 2. 4, 5, 1, 2 means again what you are getting? 57. 57 is uh, divisible by 19 and then yes it is divisible by 19 then the entire number is divisible by 19 okay okay now we are entering into the 20 divisibility rule 20 divisibility rule what is 20 divisibility rule if they are given a number for example like this uh, 7 5 6 9 1 double 5 double 6 uh, okay 8 0 8 0 okay Okay, whatever it is, any number, how much number they are given, whatever it is, you can observe the last place. What is last place? Zero. Okay, if it is zero, means we can go with a unit uh, tens place. You can go with a tens place. What is tens place? If the tens place is even and the last place is zero, it is there, means then the entire number is divisible by 20. Okay, just here one of the what is 20 divisible rule means we must observe the last place is 0 or not. If it is 0, we can observe the tens place is even, even or odd. Okay, if it is even, the entire number is divisible by 20. Otherwise, it is not divisible by 20. Okay, just here one of the it is divisible by 20 or not. How we can check means last digit we need to observe. Last digit is 0 means then we can observe. Okay, tens place is even or odd. If it is odd, it is clearly not divisible. If it is even, it is divisible. Okay, here this number is divisible by 20. Okay. Okay. Most of the people, they are difficult to remember 7, 13, 17 and 19 divisible rules. Okay, most of the people, they are difficult to remember 7, 13, okay, 17 and 19 divisible table. Just we can remember this one means it is easy. How we can remember means, uh, okay, just here once of the, okay, 2, 4, 5, 2. You can remember 2, 4, 5, 2. Then after what we can do means, okay, minus, plus, minus, plus. Okay, what is this one means? Okay, the unit place is multiplied by 2 and subtracted from the remaining. Okay, that is nothing but 7 divisible rule. Okay. Next, what is 13 divisible rule? Unit place is multiplied by 4 and added to before digits. Okay. 17 divisible rule. Unit place is multiplied by 5 and subtracted from before digits. Okay. Unit place is uh, multiplied by 2 and added to the before digits. Okay. For the more information and for more uh, videos, we can subscribe my channel. And if you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment box section. Okay. Thank you.